So, oh my gosh, there's so many different thoughts coming in right now. It's like, blah, 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 blah. which one do I say first? Okay. So I'm here walking in the redwoods and um, really getting a sense for the trees and the, the sound, but it's not a sound that comes from the earth and the trees and the plants and the animals and all that. And it reminded me of when I first started perceiving that with my jewelry and when I make my jewelry. Um, a couple months ago I did a foundation class and my friend Amy, it was her birthday, and we went on a little field trip to my store and I gifted her a necklace. And it was a necklace that nobody else had really looked at or tried on and she loved it. And she came in the next day and she said, it's musical. And I was like, oh. As soon as she said that, it put words to the energy that I always was aware of but hadn't put into those words or acknowledged. And since then, as I'm creating, um, putting different gemstones together in different shapes, it's like, it's sort of like a symphony. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of magical. And I'll try different gems together and it's like they create different tones and the music and when the person comes in and their body is requiring that tone, it's it's just so much more perceptible. I'm not sure if this is making sense to any of you, but um, it's been really cool to have that unfold and become stronger. So I wonder what music you hear in the objects and the trees and the things around you that if you recognize that you heard it, would contribute to your life. Like, you know, say you're looking for a car, looking for a new dress or something, and you listen for it to call you. Or antiques or bargains or something that would maybe add to your life and make you money. Do you hear it? What if you did?